we're gonna take over. The shaggy beard. It's fucking tiring this. I've, you know what I mean? I've already done um like anybody who's come over from oh shit from uh, Michael's you're gonna know what's happening already but you know what I mean a lot of people won't so what I would say to you guys yeah is I've worked my ass off in this community now for 14 months right so anything what I ask is just share this video all right I don't ask you to do that I don't ask for much do you know what I mean but if anything just share this video around yeah um and we'll start from um the first I knew of a day is when I had armed police at my door um oh shit. So yeah guys let's go. Um armed police come over there. It got me back up to where I rang the social workers um carrying on wanting to get to the bottom of it. I went to a meeting with social workers to which they told me the next day to take my son uh, to go for an x-ray. Lisa, do you want if you can love, can you come to my house? Give Shannon a bit of support. Because she, she's not in a good place at the minute. Um so yeah, um I carry on, I met this meeting after and they tell me to take my son um somewhere to get an x-ray, which, which I demanded. Um so I took my son, right, but do you know what it is guys? Yeah, the, the situation didn't feel right, so I took people with me, right? I, I don't know why. I was supposed to go on my own with my son. And um but I didn't go on my own, right? And when I went there, there were three police waiting in ambush to arrest me for multiple offences. And they arrested me for common assault. They arrested me for harassment. They arrested me for malicious communications. And they arrested me for two public order offences. They climbed through my kitchen window, went into my property and took two more laptops. They took two mo more mobile phones. They took my daughter's iPad and they took two car keys. They put me on bail conditions not to walk within a certain area which pretty much surrounds my house. Um, they left my car and took my car keys and left my car in a place that I'm not allowed to go. They released me early hours at morning and charged me with four offences such as section 5, section 4, malicious communications, assault charge went, harassment charge went, My son got 30 x-rays yesterday when I was locked up. 30 x-rays and they want to do more. Nothing's showing on those x-rays. There's not a mark on my son. He's never seen or known violence, my son. This has come from a malicious person who's despised me for the last two years. Now this person has actually been in touch with the social worker saying that she's not even said this and the social worker said well yeah you did say it because she said it to me. It's, it's a clear lie so if it's a clear lie why, why didn't that get shut down? Why are you trying to steal my children? You filthy bastards. Why are they trying to take my children? Guys all I ever do is speak about corruption right. It might not be ideal, we might not do it in the most professional way. I'm a bit of a gobby bastard. I'm a bit like Marmite. Yeah, a lot of people love me, a lot of people hate me. And, um, but all we've ever wanted to do is speak about the ways that we brutalised and violated in society. We're, we're the kind of people, right, who get burned and we take it home and we can't get rid of it. It, it eats away at our dignity and pride, right? So every time we do an audit, it's bringing that back. Speak up, Chris. <clears throat> it's bringing that back, guys. You know what I mean? We, we, it's bringing back that pride and dignity, what, what they're taking away from us, which they, they do systematically, which they've done to me 
over years systematically and I got to a point where I'm not having it anymore and I met these boys and these boys were already in a position of saying that we're not having it anymore and like you know Marty Blackborough's the OG do you know what I mean he bombed this shit really so um, look how many people do it now how many people have heard that some people might not like me some people might not like Marty but you're hearing us and that's the main thing we didn't come here to make friends it's not a popularity contest, we're not here to make friends, that's why we're gobby bastards and we just say it how it is. Because we're not here to make friends, you know what I mean? The, the nice comments are nice and we love it, yeah? But we're not doing it for that and we didn't expect that. We thought I expected people not to like us, alright? And now, when people are hearing us speak out about what's happening, not just hundreds, guys, thousands of people are feeling the same and going, do you know what, I'm fucking having it, I'm doing it. Some people are getting courage to get up and audit. And um, I just know, when Live Free goes down, these boys are just going to carry on and uh, build it up. Born new people, new people are coming. And that's the idea behind and, and the importance, right, of building up other people on YouTube and helping them, um, raising new people, new auditors. But guys, I think I've, I've, I've said enough now. Um, Listen, have, have they put social services onto your case though, like they try to give you a social worker type shit or...? It's not that right, um, now it's got to a point now where I've had a, an appointment with doctor, I've had an appointment with them and I've done an x-rays. Yeah. They tried to stitch me up where now I feel like I can't work with them, so now yeah. I'm saying anything to do with social services, you need a court order or yeah. you need to go to court. Yeah. I'm not in a position to work with these people anymore. There's yeah. The concerns for my kids have been put to bed. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, um, they've been checked through by doctors, paediatricians, x-rays, and that's covered my back. Um, I'm still with my kids. Um, I will fight all the way. Don't know what's coming next. I don't know how it's come to this. When have you got caught? I'm in court on the 23rd. For all charges? All charges, um, yeah. All charges, guys. A lot of them are uh, summary offences. A lot of summary offences. There's and, uh, two that's not in there. There's um, the malicious communications. No, it's summary that, bro. It's, it's not. summary. It is. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I've, I've been convicted twice of that. You've been convicted twice? Yeah. But do you know what a summary offence is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can still get convicted, but a summary offence you can't go to jail for. No, 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 no. That's what I mean. So that's a summary offence, bro. My solicitor told me yesterday. I'm getting confused with me. Fair play, fair play. <laughs> But the thing is, right, that's that, that that's the thing, Marty, right? You know, as soon as it comes... It'll be Leeds Magistrates. Yeah, twist. and as soon as it comes for any any prisonable offence, right, what can we get the maximum or close to the maximum? I could see it. I think if any one of us You'll see it got charged and found right. guilty of anything, they'll, they'll try to do My prison number is A4241AL. Remember that. I want your letters. <laughs> I'm going to need them. For can you imagine up bags of mail, Bush? Not that the screws would like to give me that. Um, imagine life for live free in prison. I'm pretty in the armway as well. Pretty much a fucking dead man. But we'll fight to the death. And we'll have a lovely day. Every day. King of the wing. <laughs> King of the wing. Live free is uh... back home. So yeah, I'm going back home. Um, yeah, and that's what I need to do. I need to go. I'm gonna go get me and Shannon um, a phone. So yeah. Everyone watching, yeah, feel free to share this video. Please share. Maybe it. whatever, download it, Please upload it, it, do whatever you want with it. Oh, listen, no, no, no I'm not, let me let me finish off then before I share it. Right, go on, go on, go on. This is the part that needs sharing. This is the part that needs sharing. Right. Just make sure you're speaking up. Right, guys, we all know my situation, yeah. And this is part of what I'm saying is that needs sharing, right, is that no matter what, right, we, we said it on his live, we'll say it on this live, yeah? If you've got concerns for children, right, serious concern, genuine concern, even if it's a small concern, right, the children's safety is paramount, so you do ring social services, right? You do turn to these people when, you know, and, and they will act on that, right? But what, what I'm begging you, some people out there, right, um, they get a little bit bitter or whatever. It might be a family member, a fucking friend. It can be anyone, right, who gets a bee in the bonnet, right? I'm just begging you, don't 
turn to them with false allegations. Please don't do that, man. No destroy, what, destroy lives, man. Not just the grown-ups. Fuck with grown-ups' lives. Fuck us. Yeah, fuck us. We can die tomorrow. Fuck that, right? Our kids, they're babies, man. And the love, the lovers, and especially, right, when it's a false allegation and that baby comes from a loving home where his parents love him and would never dream of they put anybody in a box who ever hurt him, yeah? Don't do that, guys. Please don't do that. Under any fucking means, don't do that. Do something else. Go break the car, break a window, do anything, but don't do that. Because this is why now I know, right, thousands of people have been messaging me. A lot of people have been messaging me over the last year, telling me the stories. I don't even read half of them. I get a few lines down and I fuck it off. Not for me that it hurts, man. Right. And these people are hurting. That's why they're reaching out and saying that, right? It needs addressing. It needs addressing. We need something in place in this country where we can say, no, no, no. You want our kids, you're going to have to fight properly for them. It's not just these little paperwork trails. and Yeah, that's right. I'm taking a break. It's not that I'm taking a break. My solicitor said that um, like they're trying to shut us down because we've got the amount of following that we've got. That they're trying everything in the power to shut us down. Um, I don't expect my YouTube account to be around much longer. Right? But that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying is that um, as soon... And I said that once I got to 50k subs, right? I started thinking... That account goes to a certain level and we're saying certain things then it becomes dangerous and, and the will shut us down and that is what's going to happen. I just wanted, you might have seen me working my ass off, running myself into the ground. I want to get as much, I want I treat YouTube like it can end any day. And money, money came in, money came in, made it a little bit different but the main thing is, is getting that message out. But anyway, we're going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there now because I feel like I've, I've updated you on everything. These boys are going to run the show. I'll be in the background for the next week or two. I'll be in the background. These boys are going to run the show. We've got Marty, Chunky, News Now, Jamie and the rest of the gang all across the United Kingdom. <coughs> Guys, just protect your kids. Don't be silly. Don't be hasty. Don't make false allegations. Look what happens. Um, speak the truth alright don't deal in lies don't give way to it and don't deal in lies and I'll leave you with that guys respect there you go guys from the horse's mouth himself so we're going to leave it there not, not else to say that was the live free show so guys as always until next time stay safe peace and respect